look so we are doing this recording for students who have joined the class recently huh? so all of you in your emails you will get this link to this document called as laundry list okay you'll get an email you click on that document and th this document will take you to this page hmm? now the whenever you join right whatever point you join the class first things first there are two assignments that one needs to finish okay whatever your uh, desired date of taking the exam might be and those two assignments the first assignment deals with financial statements hmm? because this is the prerequisite for financial statement analysis which has a big weightage uh, in the exam hmm? and here you are actually going to model financial statements of a fictitious tea business company okay this is where you will understand uh, what it is to uh, uh, you know this is where you will understand all these things where, where is it going yeah here understanding of income statements balance sheet cash flow statement and various row items reported in each of the financial statement you will also understand what's the difference between cash accounting and accrual accounting you will also understand what's the difference between direct cash flow statement and indirect cash flow statement you will actually get an idea of how income statement and balance sheet are related you will get an idea of different components of cash flow statement and how the bringing together of two period balance sheet and income statement of this period generates cash flow statement and here you will also start to get an idea of uh, financial ratios hmm? and now there are two ways students do this particular assignment one is they can do it on piece of paper um, you know and the other is if you already know excel then you can start putting the numbers down in excel hmm? so this is the assignment now in order to do this assignment right this assignment is already recorded Okay, so you just have to watch this particular lecture, right? And then you are actually asked to make these many financial statements. Under cash accounting, you have to make for a certain financial year, you have to make a certain um, income statement, balance sheet, direct cash flow statement. Under accrual accounting, for the same transactions, for the same financial years, you have to uh, make these uh, statements and then for the next accounting period again you have to make these statements hmm? and uh, that's uh, part one of the assignment one right and then there are scenarios that one has to um, complete as well so the first part of the assignment is you are going through and what the basic uh, the presentation that you will be using Okay, the PDF is uh, basically this particular one, uh, with, which is, is it okay? okay? This is where everything is uh, already done for you. Okay, so you see, this is a 41 page document, this itself, right? So the first part of it is just the <clears throat> investment banking. And then the second part is where the tea business starts. And uh, we go through this. This All this has been recorded in that lecture, right? And uh, you will essentially, the first part of the assignment, you are actually re reproducing the same numbers that are being talked about here, OK? Uh, like this this is exactly how the first part of your assignment will look right uh, the 14 statements that we are talking about then so this completes this entire thing will help you complete these first 14 okay scenarios so it's quite a bit of work okay and you have to do it it's not like you just watch the recording and then you are imagining that you have done it no we want you to do it by hand other than that you will not learn hmm? okay then you have to, uh, the next part of it is the scenarios and effects. So this is where we, 
once you have now modeled the basic assignment, right? Now we are changing certain something in the usual uh, scheme of business and now redoing the assignment. Okay. This is what that assignment two means. Assignment part two of assignment one means. Okay. Um, so that's your part. And then there is part three. Then part three is essentially where you will have to fit uh, input numbers here. Okay. Uh, so this is one part of assign, uh, part three. Then there is a part three where you also have to come up with the accrued expense scenario. And then you also have to do deferred or un unearned revenue uh, thing. So again, this has been solved. You pretty much have to just put this on paper and uh, show it and complete it. So, and this also talks about, um, you know, some of the, this, these are some helpful, useful information that you will need as you start to work on the assignment. Okay. So this is your, uh, assignment number one. Okay. Now this assignment number one, we want each student to come finish it and then present it because we want people to also develop presentation skills. Okay. And no need to be scared. No need to, I'll help you out. Okay. Uh, it's not like I'm going to be sitting on your head and forcing you or something. You just explain it as if you're explaining it to a friend. Okay. And then if there are mistakes, no issues, you know, that's all. We, that's why we try to do it, but we want at least an honest attempt by the student. And if it takes you one month, if it takes you three months, let it be. But first let's do this. Let's not assume that we already know this. And if you already know this, then prove it by doing the assignment. Okay. So this is, um, yeah, and then don't rush through the lecture recording, slow down, develop patience. Um, you will get bored immediately because these are new things that are coming your way. If you're not from a commerce background, uh, there is a natural frustration that will develop because a lot of new terminology will be thrown at you. But that's that's part of learning, you know. There there will be new ways of looking at things that will be shown to you. But uh, that's how learning happens, you know. And depending on uh, how fast a student learns or how much time or how much focus they have, um, uh, it depends. Uh, that will tell you how long it's going to take. I'm willing to wait as long as nine months. That's the longest someone has taken to finish the assignment. I have that much of patience, right? But unless you get it done, uh, we are not uh, asking you to move forward because this is the foundation. If this gets, if this is not correct, nothing else will go right in the class or in the career. Accounting is the base. You better understand it. Whether you are in 21st century in the, you know, in the world of AI or whether you are in 19th century or whether you're in the 17th century, that part never changes. That's the basic, right? That's the plumbing. The plumbing is not correct. You know what happens. Hmm? That's assignment number one. Okay. Now we are imagining or we are assuming that you go through the, that you've gone through assignment number one. Then comes assignment number two. This assignment is on quantitative techniques. Hmm? Uh, Again, so there are two topics in quantitative techniques, the first two modules. Okay. One is on interest rate returns and the other is on time value of money. Hmm? Those two are the basic fundamental topics for your base in fixed income, your base in equities, your base in valuation. Without understanding of this, you are again not going anywhere in the, as far as the technical landscape goes. Hmm? So again, lectures have been recorded. Okay. Um, you just have to click on the lectures, look at your notes. The same thing is being talked about here. Once you're done watching the lectures over here, um, you again, uh, so, so, so there are within this assignment number two, there are two parts, right? Uh, basically one is the first module, interest rate and returns, and the second module, which is time value of money, right? So you end up watching the lectures 
for let's say interest rate and returns you start working on that right then after that you watch um <clears throat> the problem solving video that i have recorded for rates and returns chapter right you're done with that if you can solve it on your own perfect you know and all the all the presentations all the pdfs are already there right then then you have to solve extra questions on this topic by yourself that i have not solved answers are given right okay then part 4 is there is a practice test on this this is also will give you an understanding of how profit shastra runs for all the topics get it so there is lecture then there is problem solving recorded by the professor right then there is one more question bank that you have so where you need to solve on that particular topic and then you have to take the practice test once you take the practice test you have to send us the scores right so that's the level of details that the level of depth that we want each student to go through if you're prepared for it uh, come join the class and uh, uh, you know hopefully it will be fun and hopefully it will develop an interest in the so then second second so this that's the first module in quant right second module in quant quant is time value of money right time value of money again this is a three part lecture recordings for the slides then again there are problem solvings uh, that are recorded for this particular module right then again you need to solve extra questions on this topic and then finally you have to take the practice test this much is the second assignment right and now that is how we say that someone has become profit shastra student until they have not done the business and the two tests on quant you might have paid the fees but you are imagining that you are our student we are not imagining okay then these this is when you are now a part of this four card so there might be 30 students here or 20 students here but only these are, will be called as actually the students of profit shastra and we don't want people to imagine things we ourselves don't imagine right so have you completed the t business financials have you completed the t business scenarios right and have you completed the first test on quant and the second test on quant only after you have completed this much that you are actually a student of profit shastra then your journey of cfa starts so it's not a matter of when is your batch starting no it's always a matter of take the admission now start working on these two assignments so that you know at least you get an understanding of how much in depth preparation is needed to be a cfa level 1 exam candidate and then what happens is then there are then you get to the next part which is this particular uh, document right so l1 problem solving so l1 problem solving and video recording lecture links so this is where you will now get an understanding or appreciation for what we have done in this class okay for each of the topics 10 topics there are various modules for each of the modules we have the lecture recordings and then problem solving recordings okay then there is an extra problem set that is there for each module and then there is a practice test on each module and you have to do that for the remaining 90 modules hmm? you still want <laughs> so so look this is fsa that it goes down like this and it goes on and on and on and on and on so this is not your mba this is not your so you see this but thankfully at least these two things you have done you know quant 1 and 2 you have done in the first and now you get you would hopefully appreciate what's happening in this document so and i have appreciation for people who accept the challenge and are willing to look at it and uh, 
go in depth not but you will realize that what will happen is if you go through this kind of a method okay of preparation it will change your life forever because then you will develop an appreciation for what it is like to go in depth it is was never about getting a degree it was never about um, you know just somehow forcing yourself to pass an exam because then the career suffers because once you go to the industry they want you to have an in depth outlook on everything they want you to be focused they want you to be concentrated they want you to not waste time they want you to not give up before things are done it's not done until it's done right and this will also tell you why um, if your career is not going the right way it's this reason because the depth was never built in and if it takes you one year if it takes you two years whatever it is however long it takes if you can do it in six months great wonderful you know and uh, but do not try to take shortcuts that is not allowed why because you guys are in your 20s right now you still have another 40 years i want you to have that broad vision so if you can spend like a year year and a half two year on um, something like this in an in depth way think of the next 40 years the benefits that will come to you right and you will see that in this class many will join but very few will be able to go through this in depth because it is not meant for everybody and then you will realize why only very few careers actually go the right way okay so that and and we are not forcing anybody pick up your speed okay so that's that's one part of the thing then as far as now in order to help you complete this assignment it's not like i'm just um, completely you know backing off and saying you do it and no i'm there to help you out okay 11:30 to 1 has been specifically set aside just for these two assignments hmm uh, and then once you are done with the assignment so so there will be in in any given batch there are people who are done with maybe say just the assignment number 1 there are people who are just done with assignment number 1 and 2 and then there are people who are not only done with assignment 1 and 2 but they have now moved on and they are taking practice test on the remaining topics right and so there is no such thing here as when is the batch starting or when is this because there are people at different different levels people are operating right so 11:30 to 1 has been specifically designated for this right you put in your work you have questions i am here i'll be there at 11:30 next number 2 then from 1 o'clock is the doubt solving for the remainder of the topics from 1 to 1:30 you know so people who are actually now working on the next part of the they moved on to the next uh, level of journey for them doubt solving happens from 1 to 1:30 and then whatever is the lecture that is put up on your schedule that starts at uh, 1:30 and uh, 1:30 to 3 pm will be the lecture 3 to 3:30 will be the break then 3:30 to 5:30 will be the lecture now if you again it's a very open ended class you pick your own schedule you pick up it you are not forced to come here if you are uh, if it's too hot if you don't want to come here if it's too cold you don't want to come here if if you start to have headache uh, the all the lectures are already recorded right so don't force yourself however when you come to the class you will see that there is a different energy in the class there are there is interaction you uh, makes you feel a little bit more motivated or a little bit more depressed any which way it works because it keeps you on the line you know you, you at least you realize how much more work needs to be done right so at profit shastra unless your name appears on the scorecard uh, we you are still not a student okay you will be 
look at you as a tourist um you know they've come um, they've just figuring out what's going on but they are not into it they are observers they are not the players okay uh, so the players are this and i uh, at any given point of time um we neither i assume things for myself nor i let students assume uh, the reality is this okay and don't force yourself try to run too fast if you try to run too fast and your capacity is not there you will fall you will get depressed you will actually leave the course okay uh, and so that i mean that is also okay i mean right we are not forcing this on anybody uh, but if you ever graduate from prophet shastra you will know that you know you will not just be another degree holder who is just walking around imagining things in their head okay um, and we want people to take all the practice tests till the very end okay and there are various folders at prophet shastra there is this google drive that is shared with you right so if you go here if you look at your shared folders in google drive you will see this l1 extra material okay apart from the notes that you have okay so you see in this the, here do you see this there is this is the extra question bank you know what this is this is the one that on each topic there are extra right this is where is the assignment number 2 like here right <clears throat> the extra question bank is this part 3 okay then then there is a folder called as problem solving folder okay so if you go here there is a problem this is the prop this is these are the problems for each of the topics that i have solved by me here you know these are the pdfs right and if you there is also a lecture there is also a so it's quite in depth you know you will as you swim through this you will realize uh, you know here class lectures right so class lectures are essentially this part of the this column this class lecture video two columns right these are here so if you click on this these these are so, these lectures are uh, maybe here these i have put up as sample videos so. here these are these are all stored in where is that folder here right then within the recorded lectures are the problem solving lectures so it's quite in depth um, these are the problem solving folder uh, that these are the recordings for problems okay um, so welcome to the beginning of the end uh, that's all i can say hopefully it will be fun if you are hungry for knowledge hopefully this will be enough to keep you satisfied um, and whoever has gone through this process that much i can tell you uh, they are not doing bad in their life they all have been selected in the industry they have all done well uh, or doing well and uh, and because yeah there is one more aspect of this class so apart from your uh, you know the usual technical knowledge right um, there is also um, there is another aspect of this class which is the uh, you know the there is a class called as swadhyaya okay uh, this is again it's not related to cfa or anything and uh, basically what happens in this class and again it's optional you will get a email for that as well and uh, where is that there is this uh, this is just we try to this is the next phase of my life where i am where i'm trying to uh, 
you know, so there's an aspect of your life where you are uh, busy with your academic training, trying to be successful, trying to make money, trying to, uh, you know, find love, relationships. You know, you're young people, you know, entertainment, IPL, excitement. That's all part of your life, food. Uh, right. For someone like me, look, I've been there, done that. Right. So people like me with my gray hair and all that, we're looking for the what's next. Is that all there to is? Right. So there is this Swadhyaya class, which we do only on Saturdays at 5 30, um, you know, uh, in the evening for half an hour where we try a little bit of meditation, we try a little bit of what we call as bowing down technique, because as you, I realize that uh, being an educational institute, I think they should, people should also be given certain, what we call them as life skills. Life skills are something, you know, there are two things that can happen to you once you come to this class. One is that you become, you're very good at test taking, you pass the, you complete all the assignments, you complete all the practice tests, you're doing very well, you pass the exam, you get the job, that's the best, right? Um, you will be called successful. I'll be happy for you, your parents will be happy for you, your friends, you will be happy. But does that mean you are happy? Does successful mean happiness? That's the question that I asked myself after I lived for a certain time, and you know, because these things happened to me. And I realized not necessary. Not really. Because something is def still definitely missing. The, that's still okay, your success. Then the, for majority of students, what happens is they go through a period of depression and frustration. That this this self-loathing that starts that I'm not able to keep up with the class, I'm not able to do the assignments, I'm not able, you know, there is that thing. So whether you belong to the first category or the second category, uh, personally, I think this class is helpful in the sense that we do a little bit of meditation, we try to do a little bit of pranayam, um, breathing exercise to soothe your nervous system. And, uh, and then there's something called as bowing down exercise that we do, okay, uh, which we try to release either excitement in terms of success or depression in terms of not really getting things done. Because for us, both are not good. Too much of success is not good. Too much of depression also is not good. That's basically has been my conclusion in life. Uh, we want to be the word that we, there are a few words that we like to resonate with is word called tranquility. There is word called as equanimity. There is word called as you know, calmness. Uh, and that once you understand a little bit of that, right, we try to resolve the conflicts in our mind so that we can develop the focus, concentration, and we make the best use of your time. Okay. So there is this aspect of this class as well. You'll get an email about this as well. Uh, it's optional. It's not for everybody because it requires that you are honest with yourself. You're not making up these things in your mind. And uh, so anyway, so, so that's just wanted to give you an idea about this as well. And uh, then there is another aspect of this class, which is we also want people to look for jobs. Okay. Um, Right. So we don't want them to wait till the very end to get a job. So again, this is an assignment. This is a, this is a document, six page document uh, where we don't want people to make the common mistakes that they make in terms of, uh, you know, joining these below par educational institutes, not looking for jobs early enough, uh, not preparing for interviews. So here, this is a guidance on how to prepare your resume. Uh, what all to put in on your resume, uh, you know, if you've done the business assignment that we want you to put certain these things in um, in your resume, if you have done financial modeling, uh, you know, chapter, then we want you to put these things in your resume. 
if you have put if you have done quantitative assignment on the quantitative uh, techniques the assignment number two we want you to put these in your um, resume if you have watched and understood the derivatives lecture we want you to put this in your resume and things like that and so and they, here again there are guidance on how you should be actually keeping three separate re resumes you know one for sales one for operations job one for research jobs because we want to not end up with oh i only want to be equity research analyst and then you have nothing right so like that um, so how to prepare a cover letter what salary expectations to keep um, you know links to various job websites and uh, and then we also have um you know list of companies where we want you to go you know and uh, list of recruiters list of companies in mumbai buy and sell firm uh, buy and buy site sell site firms and links for various companies go to each of these companies directly start applying for jobs right um, so then there is this you know, if you want to improve your communication skills, we would advise that you join the Toastmasters group. At least go there, tell them you are preparing for interviews. Then there are books on answering behavioral questions in the interview. Then there are books on answering technical questions in the interview. Uh, then we also want you to do, because this is the, uh, you know, AI world, put some AI techniques on your, uh, it's not directly part of your CFA curriculum, but they are expecting you to know not just Excel, but also data science things. So take some course from, you know, Udemy or something like that. These are not very expensive courses. And, and uh, so the other kind of advice in terms of how you should approach your career. So people should know where their career is going instead of they are assuming what their career is good. Don't confuse the two. Hmm? So this is another important aspect. Uh, then there is in the laundry list, there is frequently asked questions. Uh, there is do's and don'ts, right? And then there is this DMART assignment. Now, that is, this is only for those who have done quite well in this class. Not only they know Excel, they also have financial statement analysis knowledge they have equity and valuations knowledge through our equity recordings and whatnot they have good reading habits writing skills um, so there's a dmart assignment uh, but if you have done dmart assignment then there is a different stuff that we want you to put on your resume uh, it'll be more technical uh, stuff then you will put something like this yeah, this this gives a different impression to the uh, but they will Keep in mind, they will ask you in the interview, where is your model, right? And even for DMART assignment, we have provided various steps. All, everything is written. So one of the basic skills that we need for students to have in this class is reading skills. Okay, so that's there. Then there are various investing resources that I have found helpful in my own career as well as, uh, you know, blogs and where to watch yield curve, how to get research reports on Indian companies, entrepreneurship forum. If you happen to be the kind of person who wants to start a business, startups, again, get a good mentor from TI. Warren Buffett shareholders letters. I personally read them all. Uh, it's helped me out a lot in my life. We always go down to Buffett. Uh, he's, you know, because of people like him, people like me can live our life uh, without having to worry about it. Then I also want you guys to start reading New York Times and Wall Street Journal. And it has been our attempt throughout to give you guys an idea of uh, what good newspapers, how the reporting for good newspapers. So you'll see throughout in the WhatsApp group, We'll keep sharing certain uh, items and also uh, newspaper articles from New York Times or Wall Street Journal or anything relevant that we find. And uh, also you will see that wherever 
you will see there is this column called as relevant remarks or articles. OK, so, so because we want you to have a practical understanding of everything. Right. So for, let's say, introduction to financial statement analysis, you know, where to go when they when they tell you 10K reports, where do you go and download 10K? This is Edgar. This is SEC database, you know, so that those of you who are interested in practical application um, of skills, article on importance of cash flows. Right. So we have what we have done is from Wall Street Journal and whatnot, we have saved various articles. We want you to read them. But that is the minimum expected of a person. So, so you're not just another person who has passed the exam but has no idea how to how to make use of this information. Right? So that's uh, another thing. So there are quite a so hopefully what you'll find is uh, it's quite detailed what we have tried to do here. Okay, so for most to quite students who stick with us, this itself becomes their college. You know, because it is uh, the amount of uh, the depth that we are going into. Uh, this almost becomes like a master's in finance and investments. Okay, and we are just focusing on that. That's it. We are not doing anything else. Okay, so we are not diluting. And, uh, this is your uh, uh, that's all I wanted to share with you so that uh, and it, it depending on how you see this this becomes either very interesting or very boring uh, hopefully it is more on the interesting side than the boring side okay. uh, but keep in mind If you are pressuring yourself to do it in the shortest amount of time, and if you do not come from IIT, IIM, or CA kind of a background, you will frustrate yourself a lot. Okay, and um, because keep in mind, CFA is the gold standard. They don't call it the gold standard just for that, because you are not only for the exam. But also, when you go look for these 1% of 1% jobs, you will find you're competing with the best and the brightest of the world. Do not, never forget that. And there are not that many good jobs out there, and you will not get that many good opportunities for interviews. So you better be prepared the right way in terms of your technical knowledge, in terms of your you know, interview preparation, which is all that we have mentioned in the other thing. And you go into it in detail, not like just superficial that because once that once you fail that interview, that will never come to you. OK, so and for this, you will realize that it will require that you happen to. You have to let go of many things that you do. Lot of friends, social networking, this, that, a lot of things have to go. If you are reaching, if you look, if your goal is to if your goal is just to do some time pass and tell people that I'm preparing, that's a different thing. We had to do it. Anybody you ask who's focused, successful in life, you will see, look, boss, we don't have time for uh, socializing. That's not how life works. You know. So if you're going to be part of Profit Shastra, then you probably are going to be part of me. Someone like me, you will find um, we don't waste time. Okay. No chit-chatting, no guessing, no nothing. Uh, we come, we get the work done, we go home. There is no looking here, looking there, wasting time here, wasting time there. So you pick and choose. So friends probably will go, relatives will go, partying probably. That I'm not asking you to become a saint or Baba or something, but you know what I'm saying. You know, a lot of this WhatsApping, lots of this Instagramming, all that is for people who don't have much to do or much to deliver in life. 
all this stock market trading, futures and options trading in the name of uh, I am a finance student. No. You know, so we we warn against that kind of a tendency. We have put up articles against that tendency. Please watch out, please, because there are these 90% of retail option traders, they lose money, which is what you will find out very soon in your life. Just because everyone around you in your social circle, including your parents, uncles, aunties, your friends, uh, your colleagues, they are doing that doesn't mean they are actually successful. In order to be successful, you have to go through this. You have to deal with people like me. And they will figure you out within two minutes. You know, and and when we say you made money, let me be your benchmark. Who only works two days a week, eight months a year, takes four months of vacation. That's your benchmark. Other than that, we don't accept anything else. Okay. So, and I'm not saying this from an ego or a pride point of view, but just look at what's going on around people. They're working day and night. I don't know what they are doing, but are they going anywhere in life? Or are they just going in a loop? And this could be your teacher. This could be a coaching class teacher. This could be your uh, parents. This could be your relatives. This could be what's going on. Are they relaxed? If after all this, and that's another thing, by the way, uh, one of the aspects of this class, apart from your career growth, confidence, uh, apart from helping you relax uh, and still be, you know, productive is the word, right? Apart from all that, we want you to understand why you are doing this. This is just an aspect of you that is trying to make money because we need money in this life, right? I We're totally okay with that. So there is an aspect of this class which, has, which deals with personal finance. Why are you doing this in order to make money? How can you make money the easiest way so that it is not too stressful? Uh, and even if, let's say, you do not become a charter holder, does that mean you should be depressed all your life? No. Right? So you learn a few things about how to invest for long term and not become a speculator. We want you to get into the habit of investing in an index fund for the rest of your life. And once you hit the target, so there are, if you went, this is why that assignment in quant is very important. We want you to be focused and understand what this retirement calculator means, how to interpret this retirement calculator, how to, what exactly you need to do to actually get to uh, retirement at a relatively younger age when you can actually enjoy life so then you have the energy right and uh, so all those things are also there that's another thing i wanted to mention about this class okay. the rest is uh, let's see what else i need to tell people if um, uh, about my background i think it's there in this uh, document this one so okay mm -hmm. so anybody wants to watch my maybe i should have talked about this where is it it's not there in this man it's here yeah there you go this is me okay this used to be me. Yeah. So I got this engineering degree, then my master's, then my MBA, then I got, uh, I'm not put in CFA. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, um, so got my CFA charter, ended up working for BlackRock. From BlackRock, I transitioned to uh, this fund called as Common Fund. So my, my experience has all been in the portfolio management. Then I got bored of all this. Uh, because this requires actually that you have to get up early in the morning and then go to work. Uh, so 
I'm I'm a retired person for most part, and uh, so I'm not expecting to fill this class with as many students as I can. If I have to make money, I'll go back to Wall Street. You know, <laughs> it's the, uh, if I ever find myself short of money. So that's not the objective. Let's see if we can touch as many lives as we can, and. Uh, see if uh, people can approach their career in a reasonable way without getting too emotional either on the positive or on the negative side and let's find our each student is unique okay so figure out your own strengths and weaknesses you might think that you only have weaknesses but you will quickly realize that once you start to focus there are a lot of things that are very unique about you that are neither in me nor in anyone else that you see. So we have to, it, it will happen, believe me. And, uh, and one of the reasons we want this, again, let me uh, put this back in perspective. We want you to go through this in-depth nature so that you develop this as a discipline for the rest of your life. Then everything that you do, you will do it in-depth then whatever you touch, you will only touch if you can do it. Otherwise, you won't do it. Because you will realize that things are not done until they are done. You can keep talking about it. Right? But has it really worked for you? Okay. You can lie to others. Don't lie to yourself. Okay. And please keep in mind, you know, don't be so fixated on passing the exam that you forget that the broader aspect is to gain knowledge, to become confident, and to get a job in the industry and to make money. That's it. And that can happen regardless of whether you become a charter holder or not. Because once you have the knowledge, it will actually express itself. And you will realize that the industry is not so bothered about you becoming a charter holder or anything. They are saying, whatever you know, can you talk about it with confidence? That's it. If you know only these two things, that's good enough. Financial statements and quantitative analysis, because you now have actually a very good resume. Remember, we asked you to put these things in your resume. So you have a very good resume. You will be called for the interview. Just defend this much. Know a little bit of derivatives. Be able to talk about uh, you know, various uh, derivative instruments to finish. So don't be impractical. We don't want that. Uh, so you're doing this. Remember, last final thing, you're doing this to gain knowledge. You don't need to know it all. Nobody knows it all. You are doing this so that you can become confident with whatever knowledge you have. And you are able to defend your resume. Right? And uh, that should be good enough. And then once you get a job, you do not end up speculating your money. You just go into long-term systematic investment plan for investments, for your retirement. That's the purpose of most jobs. Yeah. And by the way, once you go to the, yeah, this is not other word. I also forget how many things I've written. Once you go to the job, right, we also have advice for a new job and career as to how to approach your job. So read this. Again, you will find that this one is eight-pager document. Okay. So see, because you should not be figuring, figuring these things out when you are 40 years old. You should know um, what to expect and uh, how to deal with various things that will come up in your job. OK. And uh, so that's another thing. Uh, then there are investing books. Um, also, you know, again, I, I would advise that you, you at least read if you are going to, because one thing that we are big on is your uh, reading habit. So I would advise that you read, pick up three books before you go to bed, you know, in the night, just maybe restart reading one or two page. You know, the three books that I would advise 
as far as finance are concerned, finance, financial uh, skills or investments is um, this thing. Five rules to successful stock investing because this is also a part of reading. Reading this is a part of your DMART assignment anyways, of certain aspects of it. Then there's a little book that builds wealth. Okay. Then there is psychology of money. I would advise, you can start with psychology of money. It's an easy read and read it slowly. Make notes for yourself. Don't try to rush into these things. Okay. So that would be. So. And then if you want to know about various careers in finance and whatnot, uh, we have this link from uh, CFA Institute um, here. You can click on this link and what are, what I have talked about um, in the first lecture, the first hour, you know, the second hour actually, talked about various jobs and whatnot. But this again is a very good link, which talks about various kinds of jobs that happen. Uh, most people are focused just on this. This is where I come from, by the way. But there are many other things that can happen, you know. So that's okay. So read this so that you know. Fine. With this, I think I've covered most everything that I wanted to talk about, or I would expect a person to know when they join this class. Um, so there's this. It's done. Various documents are there. And you will see, by the way, that there are spreadsheets for each and every uh, topic. OK? Uh, because we have modeled pretty much everything. So there, you will find there is a spreadsheet for derivatives where we have modeled. Uh, and because you know where we have modeled swaps, we have modeled forwards, we have modeled futures, uh, we have modeled arbitrages lot of things you will find there is uh, a spreadsheet uh, you know for quant uh, like this time value of money where we have modeled amortization we have modeled loans we have modeled how to calculate your SIP investment returns you know what is geometric mean HPRR H H HPR IRR you know all that so all that is part of your curriculum as well as it has been modeled here um, then in corporate finance, you know, NPV, IRR, everything is uh, modeled here. And you will find that this will be also useful for your interviews. Okay. And uh, then for bonds, you will find there is a where we have modeled uh, bond cash flows, what a discount bond is, what, how does amortization of bond works, the reality of NSE bonds right you know, various relationships you know price yield relationships mcquality duration you know modified duration convexity yield curve lot of things you know uh, so you'll find that uh, yeah, things probably will be helpful and this is all done from the perspective that you will actually be able to become a qualified industry participant, right? So you just don't have your, uh, you know, just theoretical knowledge, right? Portfolio management, correlations, funds, you name it. Uh, then. So, you know, various things you'll find have been modeled 
CAPM has been model, market model, very, various things. Anything that you can think of that is part of your curriculum, which could have been modeled, I modeled it in Excel. So uh, all I'm expecting you to do is to understand and be able to talk about it in the interviews, you know, so that you have certain practical bent of things in mind. It's not just theoretical. Okay, always keep that in mind here in this class. Okay. Financial statement modeling, again, this all this has been recorded and how to forecast a financial statement, whatnot. Mm -hmm. Regression, again, we have done. Mm -hmm. The complete thing has been modeled, whatever has been expressed in your uh, curriculum. We have modeled the whole thing. So, log, regression, trend line. So, anyway, uh, long story short, there's lots to learn. Uh, so, don't get too excited, don't get too depressed. Just uh, keep an even mindedness as long as you can positive correlations, negative correlations, everything has been modeled. Okay. Yeah. That would be it. Uh, you would also be able to comprehend the levels. Um, there are now two aspects to this. Okay whether you should first attend the lectures or whether you should first attempt um, the assignment and don't only come here. Yes and no. OK. Yes, because, right, first build the foundation. No, and you should, I would say you should come here. Why? Because at least then you will learn to sit your ass for three hours. Right? You will have to go through this pain of getting bored, getting frustrated, not understanding anything, right? Any which ways you will have, to, you see, there is this part of this mind that is absorbing things, even if you think you don't understand anything, right? And if you're going to be part of this class, you will have to learn to get used to me. You get my point, right? So that happens when you come to this class. A lot of students, they miss out on that point. So they think they will be able to do it online or they'll be able to watch the recordings. But generally what happens is people lose focus very quickly. So when you come to the class and attend the lecture, even if you do not understand anything, you could just be sitting in the back. You could be watching your WhatsApp. Any which ways you would probably be doing that at home. And I have no problem with that. Right. But because you are hearing, because you are listening, there is a part of your mind that is there's something is going in, right? Let it be just 10%. But you get used to it. Because all this is very foreign to most people, you know. They, they, you got my point, right? So to the extent that you can withstand this class, to however much is your capacity, if you only want to come for one hour, that's also okay. If you don't want to come, that's also okay. But if you ask me personally, I would say it is better to come here, get frustrated, get bored to the extent that you can take it rather than sitting at home and watching IPL. Right. So, and you see, it's only happening on the weekends, right? The class. So we are not asking for much in that sense. So you have the rest of the week to complete the two assignments. And what are you doing on the weekends then? suppose, or let's say you are working, but still one hour, two hour every day. And any which ways, most people have to watch these lectures two to three times. The first time you watch it, it will always be like this, that you only understand 10%. So by this way of coming and sitting in the class, even if you do not understand anything, right? Uh, I think you are preparing your mind, you're training your mind, uh, for the next level. That would be my suggestion. Yeah. So. But again, uh, nothing is forced on anybody in this class. Uh, pe people have uh, 
different people have different ways of learning. I let people do things their own way as long as their names come on the scorecard. Yeah, so, but for most people, I think it will be advisable if they come to the class and sit for the lectures. I think that's, that's pretty much it. I can stop this recording now. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. This is web of this Let page. me stop.